My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is Equator Moon Produces What Kind of Tides. So uh, we all know that the moon is the main cause of tides but it also has to do with the sun. It has to do with the gravitational gradient of both bodies. So what does that mean? Let's say that we have the earth in the center and the sun over here and this is the moon at various locations around the earth. When we see uh, the moon at zero degrees we don't see the area that is illuminated as the sunlight comes from here and we're looking at it from this direction. This is a new moon. When we look at it from here at 180 degrees, we only see the illuminated surface, so therefore this is a full moon. What does this mean for tides? For tides, that means that the gravitational pull of the sun and the gravitational pull of the moon are adding up. Therefore, the gravitational forces are stronger. So when you have both of them in line, you have something called the spring tides. And with spring tides, you have very high, uh, very high tides and very low tides. So it's both of the extremes. Now, what happens at quarter moons? So when we look at, uh, when the moon is in this position at the 90 degrees, here we have the first quarter, and here we have the third quarter. So now the sun and the moon are no longer adding the gravitational forces into the tides, but instead they're taking away from each other. And this is called a neap tide. So therefore, during the quarter moon, we have neap tides. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist. Mm -hmm.